Hello everybody, it's Sesame Might Haven here today, and I just wanted to um, go over a tank with you guys that a little while back it was buffed. So the Amex 65 ton, uh, they increased the penetration of the rounds that made this tank actually phenomenal for what it is. This has got to be one of the tier 8 tech trees that I kind of just don't care what tier I end up in. If I'm top tier, middle tier, bottom tier, either or, this tank for me is just absolutely phenomenal and i'm surprised that the damage standing on it is so low um other than that um i'm playing live as well and currently the mic you guys normally see on my mic stand is uh, being held in my hand currently on its own original pod so it's uh yeah um I ordered in an XLR mic, and I actually just, it's off on the side of the screen here. This thing is a chunky boy, okay? I mean, look at the arm. Uh, I'm going to let go. This is with all the extra counterweights on it, too. I can take off this counterweight if I can. And it's still, I mean, this is a problem I had with Razor, that it weighed not enough. And this thing, I was surprised to actually see how much it weighs. But XLR is the three pin connector you see right there. And um, basically it's gonna be better quality than this mic, or at least it should be by a tremendous amount. Actually, I might leave that weight off. That's a lot better and a little bit more responsive. But um, yeah, so with this, this is an all in one. You know, we have our back here. We got a volume up in the front, everything on this thing. Sorry if you guys can hear me picking it up. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm me. Also, with it not being on the mic arm, uh, it's dead center of my screen. Uh, oh, well. I'm just going to get a little bit closer and uh, hope that things go well. But no, I am beyond stoked that my first XLR mic is a Rode mic. And the packaging it came in, I was really surprised. Uh, yeah, we still we got foam the size of Jupiter once again. And I, I'm excited about it. So, all right, back on track. Amex 65 ton, 245 standard pin, and 285 premium pin. That's APCR. This tank is just phenomenal. Uh, camo, I don't see a benefit to it on heavy tanks, except for making it look a little bit pretty. So, not going to be throwing camo on it. Yes, there's a hefty amount of premium on there, but you got to think. 10 second reload. If I can get 10 standard shells to pin, that's a good game. Um, once I'm out of standard shells and I'm in premium reserve, um, that's just nothing but bonus penetration in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to have to find a really awkward spot to sit and get close enough to the mic because I don't know how well you guys can hear me from back here. Let me know down in the comments if this is a pretty good distance or not, or if I need to try and, you know, arch my back and get close. I also did just get off work. I'm surprised that my hair doesn't look like a complete disaster. And I blew off pretty good. I got no flower on me, except for the pants. They are disgusting. Uh, let's get to this. And I'm going to be uh, removing myself from the screen. Steps. All right, cool. And here we go. First match, we're going to be up against tier nines. And I did not think this through. There are wires crossing one another. I, oh my God, I'm going to have to just bear with this or do some weird janky stuff and put this over the microphone pick it up one last time so sorry and set it back down and then take this wire because originally this wire was in the mic arm it's it's not anymore clearly and now it's just in, in the way in so many so many ways all right there we go that's how you move it all right so tier nines uh, no artillery that's a that's a rare occurrence and encounter Okay. Oh look, tier 7. I'm so sorry. I actually ha still haven't played a whole lot of matches in that tier 7. The one that I played on stream was about it. And uh, I actually want your guys' opinion on this. Should I start streaming on Twitch more often? Like, it doesn't matter what I'm doing or what I'm playing. Just throw a stream up and play. Because for me, I, I know I slack off a lot in streaming. Um, I do stream over on Twitch. I want to do it more regularly uh, because I've been investing a lot of money into streaming. And to give you guys an idea, um, in the two years that I've been doing this, I've only made $200 off of it. 
so it's, it's not like I'm making a crazy amount. I invest a lot of my own money into my stream and my content, and that's pretty much how I do it. Honestly, kind of found a passion for it, and I have been enjoying it with the times that I do do it, but I know that I have been slow on making content. That's because of how much I work. Uh, there's more new guys. The previous new guys, they all quit. Every single last one of them quit. So I'm not training anymore. Someone else is doing it. But I am working extra hours to make sure that they get time off. And, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, it's, you contribute what you can to ensure the comfort. That way people are willing to stay. Sometimes it can be difficult. Sometimes it can be easy. All right, so AMX 65 ton, recently buffed. Tiger 2, recently buffed. Let's see how this engagement goes. These tanks both have got amazing penetration. I don't really want to risk it for the biscuit, but there we go. Ah, look, we got a platoon of mediums. I want to pull, want to pull, stop, aim. And sadly, we do not take out the u -Dez. All right. But we did get spot assist. There we go. Pershing off in the distance there. All right. At least we didn't witness another uh, Borask dying. Now, the Panther. The Panther. They did buff the armor of that thing a long time ago, too. Along with the uh, buff on the overall E50 M line. Which the E50 M line was kind of depressing. They didn't buff the side cheeks of the turrets. I really wanted to see that. But they didn't do it. Ah, uh, alright. Also, another question. The reason, like, the entire reason why I'm making this video is I want to ask you guys it has been almost a year since I did my Silver Makers. Um, my Silver Makers have changed, by the way, for what tanks I play to uh, grind out silver. So if you guys want to see me do silver makers for the heavy tanks, mediums, tank destroyers, light tanks. Um, I have not really been using light tanks to be making silver, however. I don't think I'll be doing a light tank one, but for heavy tanks, they have changed. Medium tanks also have changed. And uh, tank destroyers have also changed. So if you guys do want to see my um, top two picks for each category, let me know down in the comments section if you would like to see that. You know, kind of giving me a reason to make content, I guess you can say, or because I've been slacking off. You know, without a focus on something to do, that's when I tend to start slacking off and slowing down a little bit. But the Czechoslovakian heavies, I do plan on doing a review on every single one of them from tier 7 to tier 10. So I am going to be investing quite a bit of time to make sure that I understand those tanks and feel comfortable doing a review on them. Right, we're going to want to go to the base. I do not want to lose by base cap. That is always really bad. Um, I am willing to take the damage from the T29 in my rear to get a base cap reset. And Caro 88 is the tank that's on the mine to fire at. So I pop that pair kit. The Caro, you are the target. There we go. A little bit of a reset. That's nice. Oni uh, VZ. Panther 88 will be number two. We're gonna hit the Oni first, because they're slow. Here we go, one minute. They also did buff the hatch in this tank, which has made it very nice. And we're uh, dabbing into the premium. We're one run into the premium. Honestly, the 245 standard is absolutely amazing and really hard to beat. Let's see if we can set them on fire. Sadly, we do not. I don't even think... I can't remember where the uh, gas is on the Yoni. All I know is that if you have less than 200 millimeters of pin, those are very difficult tanks to take on. This is horrible. Wow, I feel like a bully. I don't know about you guys, but this, this is just mean. This is like... They're already dead, and I'm still kicking them. Trapping themselves down in a funnel and just going crazy. Alright. Doge. That's a great name. 
But heavy tanks with the penetration of tank destroyers and with armor buffs and getting him close, these things are definitely very scary tanks to end up against in close quarters combat just because they stand and they hold very well. So other than that, you guys, um, this was not meant to be a long one, more of me just saying this was expensive. I'm happy I took that counterweight off because now it's holding itself up and you'll be surprised. This weighs more than this by like three times the amount. It's this is literally a full metal mesh and yeah, that's going to be. Oh, I could tighten it. I could lock it in place. The things you learn by just messing with stuff. All right. Cool. I'm uh, I'm officially stoked about an XL XLR audio setup. Um, also, uh, the, the next step in my uh, list to upgrade, essentially, is a new camera. Uh, currently, I'm using a Razer, just regular webcam. And uh, I'm going to be jumping to a Sony AX33 um, camcorder. And uh, yeah, that's it's like it's going to be an $800 purchase for the camera, but 1080p 60 frames a second. Currently, this one is running in 720 60 frames a second, but I'm so small on the screen that I'm not really worried about um, my pixel density since I'm just so tiny in the corner where I normally am all the time. Also, I'm going to be getting uh, new light fixtures. That way I don't have this dark side of the face, you know? Yeah. You guys, I'm, I'm just stoked. I'm just, I've been investing a lot of time into this and looking up a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, I, I still work for the Boys and Girls Club, for those of you who don't know that. And it's really cool that, you know, I go in, I show the kids my setup, and there's kids who want to get into streaming and everything else. Because there's actually a couple of colleges that look for kids who are streaming to get them in the tech classes and give them sponsorships based upon their content that they make. It doesn't matter their subscriber count. It just matters how the content looks and how it's put together, if they know how to edit or not. I don't know how to edit, but the girl I work with over there that I volunteer with, she knows how to edit very well. And I'll be uh, learning from her pretty soon as well once I get everything situated and put together. But other than that, dude, you guys have a great day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And I hope you enjoyed this. And seriously, let me know. Here? Or here? That, like, is there almost no difference with the audio? I mean, with this uh, blue. That way, if I ever have to come back to this, I, I know how far away I want to keep it away from my face. That way I'm not coming into it. Even to, you know, whisper. Oh, you know, like ASRM. You know, I, uh, next time I order in something new, we'll do some ASRM with the mic right next to like a box as I open it and pill the pilly on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how uncomfortable that makes you. Because it's going to make me uncomfortable. That's for sure. Other than that, you guys, I'm going to jet, take a shower. Um, I got home and opened the box, hooked it up as quick as I could. Because I was hoping that the screw fitting was correct. Lucky for me, I have a backup and a couple replacement screw heads. And I pulled out the smaller one, so it went way, way into this. And I am beyond stoked and very afraid to get hit in the head by this. I've already been hit in the head once and you guys can see the mark. Yeah, uh, it, it hurt. So other than that, yeah, I was loud. Guys, great night, great day, great afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I'm out of here.